Let's look into the molecular orbital theory. So how the orbital theory and how the molecules are associated with this orbital theory. So under this, uh, this is the index we are going to look into. We are going to see about the molecular orbital theory, the energy level diagram for molecular orbitals, the atomic structure and chemical bonding of molecular orbitals. These things we are going to look into. Molecular orbital theory is a method for determining the molecular structure in which electrons are not assigned to individual bonds between atoms but are treated as moving under the influence of the nuclei in the whole molecule. I am trying to show you the movie of electron under the influence of the nuclei. Here is a typical example of S orbital. So here is the S orbital. So orbital is nothing but the path through which the electrons are revolving. I am trying to show the three dimensional orbital design of an atom. So here is the 1s orbital and now I got my 2s orbital. This is your 2p orbital. 2p orbital will be having three directions. One is x axis, the other one is y axis, the other one is z axis. Around your 3 2p orbital, you got your 3s orbital. Around 3s orbital, you got your 3p orbital, 3py, 3pz and 3px. This is how the orbitals are. Now I got my 4s orbital. This is how the orbital and the revolution or rotation of your electrons in an atom. The molecular orbital theory was put forward by the great scientists Hun and Mulliken. In 1932, this theory is modern and more rational. This theory assumes that in molecules, atomic orbitals lost their identity and the electrons in molecules are present in new orbital called molecular orbitals. Here is the brief outline of the theory. In a molecule, the electrons are present in new orbits called as molecular orbits. The molecular orbitals are formed by the combination of atomic orbitals of equal energy. In case of homo molecule, are of comparable energy in case of heteronuclear molecules. This is of homo nuclear molecules. The number of molecular orbits formed is equal to the number of atomic orbitals undergoing the combinations. Here is the energy level diagram for hydrogen and the molecular orbital diagram for hydrogen. Two atomic orbitals can combine to form two molecular orbitals. One of these two molecular orbitals, one has a very low energy, the other has a high energy. You are able to see the higher energy and this is a lower energy. The molecular orbital with a low energy is called bonding molecular orbit and the other with a higher energy is called as antibonding molecular object and orbitals. You are able to see the two nodes. This is your antibonding and the one node this is your non-bonding and this is your bonding. Here is the energy level. This is called pi. This is nb non-bonding and this is pi star which indicates it's non-bonding. It's anti-bonding. The shapes of the molecular, molecular orbitals depends upon the shape of the combining atomic orbital. Here is the pi bonds. This is the structure for pi bond. So this is your pi bond. A combination of a sigma and pi bond. 
This is how the structure is. The bonding molecular orbitals are represented by sigma pi delta and the anti-bonding molecular orbitals are represented by sigma star, pi star and delta star. The molecular orbitals are filled in the increasing order of energy starting with the orbital of least energy. You are able to see this is how the structure is from here 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 4p, 3d, 4p, 5s, 4d and 5p. This is referred to as Aufbau principle. A molecular orbital can accommodate only two electrons and these two electrons must have an opposite spin. You can see it here. You can see it here. So this direction is a spin direction down and this direction is called as a spin direction up. And here is the increasing energy and you are able to see the electrons. This is how the atoms are they. While filling the molecular orbitals of equal energy, pairing of electrons does not take place until all such molecular orbitals are single filled with electrons having parallel spins. That's referred to as Hunt's rule. You are able to see it here. A single. Instead of pairing it, I made a single. Instead of pairing it, I made this three single. Once if I get more electron, now I am trying to pair it. This is referred to as Hunt's rule. You can see it here. A 2D animation. So, as per Hunt's rule, you are able to see this is your correct order instead of pairing this one. 